Okay guys, in the last tutorial, we talked about how to create a um, door for your model space. So um, this time, we actu we're actually going to follow um, those same basic steps to create um, a window frame for our windows here. So um, what we're going to do is, again, start off in our top view in our 2D wireframe. So I just want to go to that view. Okay. Once I'm there, um, I want to, again, just create the basic frame of, of my window. So I know that my windows in my model space is three feet across and then four feet, six inches in height. So I want to start off by just creating a basic rectangle um, that's that those dimensions. So I'm just going to click to start that track to start that rectangle and then I'm going to go to my bottom ribbon again and select dimensions and um, it's asking me for my length which is my width across so I'm going to do three feet press enter and now it's asking me for my width which is actually the height which I'm going to do four feet six inches and press enter and then I'm just going to click again one more time to anchor that anchor that in my model space Once I have that, um, again, I'm just going to do a very basic um, design. So I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to use my offset to just create some basic, a basic shape um, of what I want that window to look like. Again, you guys can make this as um, advanced as you want. You can make it um, any design that you want, but this will just give you the foundation on how to do it. So I'm just going to, again, go to my offset here. And I'm going to offset this two inches. Right, and escape. And now I just want to, um, again, I'm making a really basic window. So I'm just going to just create a line here and offset that one inch on each side. And then I'm just going to do me a frame across. And that will be my window frame here. And I'm just going to offset this again one inch. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And what you guys see me doing is just using basic tools that um, we've used in the 2D drafting version of AutoCAD. So you guys see me just using our offset, the line tools, which you guys know how to use all of that. And now I'm just going to select it and use, our, use the trim tool. Okay. So this is my um, basic window that I'm going to use. Again, you guys can make this as um, more in, you guys, excuse me, you guys can add more detail um, if you want, or you can do a very simple window um, like I've done here. Okay. So once I get that there, I'm going to go from my 2D wireframe. Um, sorry, I'm going to go from my top view to my um Southwest isometric view so that I can start to use my press pull tool to create some type of depth. So again, my windows, um, they go back six inches. So I just want to do that for um, for all of the parts for my window. So um, I'm just going to get my press pull. I'm going to hover until I can get that in the middle here. So when I see that highlighted, I'm just going to select and I'm going to go... Um, create a depth of six inches here and I'm actually going to do the same thing for um, the cross in the middle here so again I'm just going to select that and come up and I'm going to do um, six inches for this as well 
Again, I'm just making a really basic window, so I'm not um, going as in-depth with the details um, as I normally would. So um, you guys can just use this as a foundation, make it as beautiful, as detailed as you want it. So once I have this, I'm going to... Um, go from my 2d wireframe back to a conceptual view just so that i can see that a little better so that looks good to me so i'm going to again start to rotate so i'm going to select that window i'm going to get my 3d rotate select it and again i just want to use use that red axis to rotate that in the direction that i want it and then once you guys get it going, you guys will see that AutoCAD will snap it at 90 degrees. Okay, so once you see those green um, dotted lines there, you just um, want to go ahead and just select that um, un release. Excuse me, you want to release so that it's upright at that 90 degrees. Okay, perfect. So once I have that, I'm just going to go back to 2D wireframe. Again, that just makes it easier to see, as you guys know. So um, once I have that, I'm actually going to just select that item, that window, and I'm going to copy it at my um, right corner here and take it to the right corner of this window. And I'm going to do that all the way around. So I'm going to, again, select it, go to Home, go over to Modify, and Copy. And I'm going to copy it from the base point of that right corner. And I'm just going to take it to the inside of my window right corner here. Okay. So this is the same concept that we used um, before with the door. Um, again, we're just using base points to get that um, lined up where we need it. So I'm going to this time, since my, I need to place this window now in the windows on... Um, this right side here I need to rotate this window again so I'm just again going to go to my conceptual view so I can see it a little better you guys can see that window placed but I'm just going to select that item again go to my 3d rotate and this time I want to use my blue axis as you guys can see to rotate rotate that again at that 90 degrees and again AutoCAD will snap it at 90 degrees as you guys can see my green dotted lines once I have it I'm just going to place it press escape okay and then um, now I'm going to go from I'm going to change view so that I can see it a little better so instead of my um, southwest isometric I'm now going to go to my southeast isometric And that, again, that's just so that I can see it a little better. And then once I'm there, I'm going to go to my 2D wireframe so it's easier for me to see where I'm placing those base points. So I'm just going to go to 2D wireframe. And this time I'm going to select that item here. And I'm going to still use that um, the back of that um, right side here and take it to that, right, that point, that right point, and that point. Okay? So I'm just going to copy, grab that um, endpoint, and take it to the inside of this endpoint here. Okay. And then again, I'm going to follow those same steps to do that middle one. I'm going to select, go to copy, select that endpoint and take it to the end point of that window there. And then for the last one, I'm not gonna copy, I'm just gonna move it, um, since that's my last one. So I'm just gonna select, go to move, select the end point, and take it to the end point of that window there. Okay, so now I've drawn my one, I've um, drafted and modeled those windows and I've placed them. So now I'm going to go to conceptual so we can see it again a little better. So as you guys can see, those windows have been placed. And if you guys want to see those in your model, again, you're going to go to home, go over to view, click on that second item you have. And you want to just go to your cam whichever camera um, 
you have in there. So mine's is camera one. So I'm just going to select on that. And now you guys can see I have my windows placed. And then you guys can add your materials um, the same way that you would anything else um, in your model space. Right? Perfect.